drinks and women. Only God will save you. Handle your legal end woman. There is nothing wrong in keeping some club girls busy and happy. Drinks? It's a natural gift. And I can't be most unnatural. You should preach moderation, Saint Nelly. Always handy with an excuse. Why don't you just settle down with one lady and see how easy life could be? <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Funny theory. How is the land? A flat, dry land on a, a tarred road. Scanty habitation and good for warehouses. So what do you think? We're buying it. Mm -hmm. Ownership is not in context. Just prepare your full papers and your personal assessment. Trust you. you know, let me crack some ice to chase away the stupid thing. to believe that God can really do this for us. If you only believe this job is ours, please. Okay. It is well. God, please do it for him and also for me. Amen. Stop, stop, stop. Don't call your... Don't tell your friend might be calling the road safety people thinking you're in a serious accident. Don't you know where you're going? I was in the right lane. You're in the wrong lane. Your eyes were not on the road either. Besides, if you had your seatbelt on, you would have saved the car. You know what? You're going to replace it or I call the road safety marshal. No, 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 I don't have a driver's license. I'd rather replace the bike. And what if I say no? My bell pressure will go so high that you will have to pick up the bill. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only teasing you. So, wanna have lunch with me? <laughs> okay. God must be sleeping or doing something in a very serious way. You know, I promise you, from this day henceforth, that no one is gonna make you nervous anymore. No one. I'm I'm sick of job hunting. I'm sick. I'm gonna stick to my music stuff and do it well. Can't you see? Can't you see? All I do is walk around endlessly looking for a job. You go there, guys are like this. Thank you, we appreciate you for coming for the test and the interview, you know. Um, you did brilliantly well in the interview, um, you know. We, we will call you on a little notice. Thank you very much. 
Why? All those stupid employment managers. Why not tell people like us that don't have godfathers that this is just a mere publicity stunt? Huh? Why? I need to do more than appreciation. I need to do something. I need you to believe in me. Please. accident could have its good side. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I must confess this. Do you have this deep sense of humor, the type of aura and attractiveness that most people can't resist? Mm. Baby, I'm a victim. <laughs> to be candid, my deep sense of humor was completely drafted by your excellent comedy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. What do you do? Oh. Mm. I do contracts. Um, after my service, I tried getting a suitable job, but all the employers wanted my lower dichotomy Whoa. and my upper chamber. But right now, I do anything printing, like diaries, um, receipts, calendars. An excellent twist. Mm -hmm. If you offer the job, one that pays good, will you take it? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> but, but as far as nothing is attached to it. Baby, you just got one. Come on, you must be joking. Nope. Get ready for a full blown of that joke. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm serious. Well, let me order some food. So can it. No, 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 no. Let me, let me do that for you. No, 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 darling. Just sit, relax. I'll be back. In a jiffy. You really a gentleman. Pretty well, but I usually don't get drunk. Okay. The perfect control. friends. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you can't talk to a lady without some douche courage. You hold back, baby. I just need you to trust me. And I think I can be trusted. Uh, can't I? You already trusted. Don't watch it, Mr. Dave. Dave Samuel. Oh, please. Baby, call me Dave. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. This is your employment form. Fill it. Stitch what your salary is. Is it a pen? You're employed as my 
has no secretary and close confidant. Oh my God. You're just an angel. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll do the signing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, your duties extend to my bed. Come on. I got you first as my lover before offering you the job. I'm not guilty of anything, am I? Hmm? <sighs> you know, you're just another naughty boy. <laughs> Of course. And you couldn't call me. You couldn't call me. You couldn't. You couldn't give me an explanation. You couldn't tell me that that you were going to night crawl. Explanation for what? Explanation for being out there for you and me. Explanation for striving to get something decent for us. What exactly do you want, Harry? Sex or success? I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry, Baroness. Sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for talking back to you. I'm really sorry about that. I mean, after all, I'm just a useless, jobless idiot who doesn't know anything, right? Harry, I didn't say that. I mean, you didn't have to say anything. You really didn't. Your body language tells me everything. You know, that's what happens, you know. This is what happens when, when the woman is the one with the financial standing, isn't it? Harry, you're getting it all wrong. All right, please lecture me, Professor. Tell me where I got it wrong. Harry, when you phone online business failed you, I attached you to a claiming agent. You learned the ropes instead for hustling for the job. You prefer sitting in there, sleeping, with a flimsy excuse that clearing jobs are meant for the highly connected. Harry, tell me, how can you get connected when you sleep, smoke, and make love to your slave mistress when she's available. I want to move on to the next level and do not blame me if you choose to be a slacker. Yeah, listen. I want you to get this straight. I need to get it straight. I need to know, are you planning to ditch me for someone who matches your pace right I, now? Nobody is ditching anybody. Okay, I'm sorry if, I'm a, if I sound rude. Look, I care about your success, but success does not, does not reside on the bed. Success is out there in offices and business places, waiting for serious contenders. People who can take chances even when they are falling. You know, I'm going to take that 
reproach from you if you're not cheating on me. And listen, I promise you, don't mess with me. I promise you that. Harry, don't you threaten me. Don't you. I could be as dangerous as you are if you make me to go back to my old life. Don't you. And don't think I'm a fool for sticking by you to now. I I got a new job at Devor Investments Limited as the new confidential secretary to the president. Confidential secretary? Yeah. To the president? Yeah. Hell no. I don't like that job. I don't. Why? Baby, they pay good. I even fixed my own salary. That's it. That's it. You fixed your own salary. There's got to be something wrong with the job if you can do that. Listen, I can count on my hand, just one hand, how many confidential secretaries I know who bang their bosses. Yeah, who sleep with their bosses. You don't, you're not going to do that. Harry, I doubt this relationship if you don't trust me. Am I such a cheap whore? I didn't say that. I never said that. Baby, you're just another grunchy, green eye champ. Don't worry. Selena will never betray you. You've come a long way. Because I love you. You love me, huh? Mm hmm. They sure you love me. Mm hmm. This is spectacular. Thank you. Sweet. With a star. Yes. <laughs> Did you make it your home? Are you serious? Cry the sea of tears. Just for you. Lay all my love on you. Just for you. and everything. Mm -hmm. Like it? I like it. This is heaven. Thank you. <laughs> I like your style. Thank you. Yeah. So, what do you want me now to do? Sing for you? Can you sing? I can croak. Okay. <clears throat> That's why I love you forever, baby, forever. I love you forever, forever, forever. I will love you forever, baby, forever.
you really need to put check into your drinking habit. Give this corporate office some respect. You can drink at home or better still at the club. I love drinking every day. And I have the money to spend. Baby. It's too tempting. A rich guy like you getting drunk every now and then is not a sweet story. Blah, 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 blah. I hear you. What's up? So, have you finally made up your mind? Over what? To settle down and make children. <laughs> Instead of flinging your manhood everywhere. I'm talking about the new executive secretary. Ah. She's already at work. And I'm glad she's not a lawyer. Else, she would have taken my job as the company's secretary. You should thank your stars. See, she has everything I want in a woman. That kind of vibe that you only find in celebrities and actors. I need you to look, take a look at her for me. She's my kind of soft. You've never sounded this romantic. Mm. Mm. So which is she? Mm -hmm. A confidential secretary or a mistress cum bedwoman? Which? Oh. But first, I got her to accept me as a lover before I offered her the job. What? I also told her her job extends to my bedroom. You need to get serious. You're not getting younger. <sighs> Can I have the drink? Hmm? You heard me. Can I have the drink? Hmm. Can I have the drink? Hmm. You have to go through this. I went through this last week. No, you did not. Can you go through that? You were supposed to, you were supposed to deal with this. Were you not there at the meeting? You were supposed to be there at the meeting, not me. I was out with um, John. As really usual, you. just go through that and sign. Can she do this? You have to read it properly before signing. Oh, okay. No way! Please, no! It's so impossible. Can you go through that? I'm waiting. Okay. Can I have the bottle? You heard me. The bottle. Right now. <laughs> But can I have the bottle now? I would prefer you get a paid job. No way. It's either my music stuff or nothing. You don't believe in me, do you? You don't see me making any headway here. Oh, Danny, don't even start, okay? 
Look, it's just this is, is a total new different ground. New ground are breaking by people. I don't have to be necessarily old hand. Yeah. You're right. Evelyn. I have been here for a long time now after my service. You've taken care of all my needs. You've loved me. All I want to do is show that I can take care of you. I need you to believe in me, please. I do believe in you. But we haven't even gone to the recording studio yet. Neither have we even found a marketer to, to market our song. Look, with all these rubbish stories I hear about them, I would want to be one of your victims, okay? <laughs> See, I have a plan. I have a plan that will bring us the money to produce, promote and market the songs. I have enrolled us into a duet performance on an upcoming TV talent show. See, the winner gets 2 million naira, a car and a 4 million naira recording contract. Why a duet? <laughs> I just want to explore your sonorous voice. See. A duet performance can play the, a psyche in the mind of the judges. It can make us seem like we're a team. See, the love play on stage can give goosebumps to the audience. It will be very exciting, exhilarating, and even audience absorbing. Okay, fine. Oh. I will do it. Thank but you, you No, know, no. Danny. Yeah. Unless this does not encroach on my work period. I promise, baby. I promise it will. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Thank you very much. So we need to schedule an appointment Danny. so that we'll see the architect. Duh. Danny. Oh, wait, wait. I, I, you you, you want to play that game of I don't know you to me? Danny, are you okay? Like, seriously, are you okay? Now, thank God that my God has caught you today, you know? So this is all you do. This is what you do to me after everything that I did for you. I could get you arrested for this. Are you serious? Arrest me? <laughs> Danny, because of her? What, what, why, are you do, why are you doing this? No, seriously. Danny, I practically take care of you. How the hell do you want to arrest me? <sighs> Young woman, this is not Danny. He's Dave. Huh? Uh, look, madam. I have respected you right from the very first moment I saw you with my fiancé. I did not talk to you and dare to respect where I come from. So let's leave it at that, okay? Hello. See, you can just keep on working, you know, you crazy hitchhiker or whatever. Do you need a ride? Oh, oh okay, no, no. I mean, then you, you're just going to insult me, right? Insult me because, of, because you've just gone to borrow one cheap suit to put on your body because of this official prostitute. What the hell is this? That, that's why you're doing all this? Danny, have you forgotten what we've been through? Okay, fine, maybe things are just a little bit difficult right now, but I mean, is this the reason for all this? Is it? Dave, this is getting out of hand. We have to leave this place this minute. She go. Danny, she's just gonna use you and dump you. That's what she's going to do. She's not good for you. What was there when I did everything? What did she promise you? What kind of... <sighs> Danny, where are you? What? Are you sure? Um, I'm coming over.
understand what's wrong with you. Does this have anything to do with that man I told you about? Yeah. But, but you shouldn't get bothered about it. I mean, you do not have any explanation. Do you? I'm right, right? Oh, unless, of course, you have... You have been playing games. Okay, I'm sorry. Do I, do I look like one of those stupid guys to play such a joke? Hmm? No. Do I? Come on, let's get out of here. Let me teach you the song, the lyrics to the new song. Fine boy, spoil himself. You know, if you stay with one woman, I say you go to change her like a rapper. So you can't carry one bad disease, it's spread and give Today is a work free day to Saturday. Uh, Where are you going? Um, yeah, um, I want to see a warehouse agent on the orders of my boss. And from there, I want to spend a weekend with my aunt at the bedroom. Yeah. I hope that's where you're going. <laughs> and where else will I be going? <sighs> okay. Mm, where is this stuff? Okay, you can use this for the weekend. I'll take care of yourself. habit of drinking before it's too late. <laughs> oh, it's too much. Thank you, doctor. You look beautiful. Mm -hmm. But on your several mistresses. Mm. Tell me some more. I wish I had one. So you will go green. I'm jealous. And I can't wait to catch you red-handed. That will never happen. So what's up today? Oh, I'm going to the salon. I need to see my stylist. I need to watch my hair. Mm -hmm. And you? Are you going out? Nope. I'll be home a whole of Saturday. Okay. Um, you can use one of the cars so they won't say the president of Devor Investment is stingy. Hmm. You want me to use any of your cars? You have to get me a driver. Why? I have phobias for driving. Oh, oh, well, let me drop you off at the gate then. Okay, baby. I have to run along. I'll be back soon. Mm -hmm. Take care. Let me drop you off at the gate. Mm -hmm. I can climb the highest mountain just for you. Oh. Cry a sea of tears yeah. just for you. Yeah. Lay all my love on you just for you. Just for your love. Just for your love. I can climb the highest mountain. Just for you. So, see, what, what should I say? Um, you start. 
Take an eternity to break us. Just a tread upon my stars will hold us. Yawa don't gust me. My no demo. Your love is my love, and my love is your love. It will take an eternity to break us. Just a tread upon my stars will hold us. Just a tread upon my stars will hold us. Okay. I sing. <coughs> Your love is my love and my love is your love It would take an eternity to break us Just mm -hmm. to tread up on my stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry It's easy <laughs> I'm gonna find you Okay, I will Just teach me again Oh my god Okay, go ahead I detest you Oh god I never knew you were such a, such a shameless layabout what? So you went for me to leave the house so you could hang out with your girlfriend, Excuse right? Me. Oh, what is she talking about? Holy Moses! Dave, you are indeed a brave hypocrite! Caught in the house and you're still lying to me? Why are you? Are you crazy? <laughs> Baby, this is just an embarrassment. I don't know this lady. No, I don't think so. What is this? Meaning of this what? This! You proposed to me and here I am standing in front of a broken-hearted victim of this Casanova. Look, I, I, I'm beginning to think I'm dumb. Like, I actually bought the story of your stupid look like the other day. You know what, Dave? You're coming with me right now! Don't let me flatten your nose. I just told you I'm not... Dave, I'm Danny for God's sake. Dave, Danny, does it matter? All that matters is that you're just one big cheating bastard. Save me, that Eve, please. Just save me. Oh, no, don't, don't even go there with me. For God's sake, who are you? Dave, you know what? It's over! <laughs> Bastard! No, that was really, really, really soft. Do you understand me? So forget about what just happened and face me, monk. What? Who is she? I don't know her for God's sake. Liar! Can climb the highest mountain just for you. Cry the sea of tears. Just for you. Is lay all my love on you, yeah. Just for your love, oh my. Lay all just for you, yeah. Pretty smart boy. So you made it home before me, right? Beg your pardon. Will you shut up and stop pretending? I caught you red handed with a girl. You even had to rush home to change your dressing, right? Are you okay, Selena? You saw me with a girl. Where? Dave, just pity yourself. There's a no need to lie. If you're serious about this, yeah, then you must have seen my ghost. My God, you have never seen such a wicked and unrepented liar like you. God, what am I even doing here? What am I even arguing with you? You know what? I am out of your life for good. Please calm down. If you saw somebody like me, at least you should give me a chance to prove it. Not like you. What I saw was you. Calm down. Can you take me to this guy? <laughs> See, Missy Magico, you went there, and you asked me where? <sighs> the restaurant. Can 
Can you take me to this restaurant so we can solve out this puzzle? Puzzle? Did you call this puzzle? Oh God, there is a room dealing with a brave liar! Oh God! Selena, let me see you saw somebody that looked like me. Is there a possibility of a lookalike? Definitely, but you will not get away with this, I tell you! Take me to the question, please. What I saw was you. What do you mean? Give me my money, I beg! My dad, they beat me since because of you. I beg you my money. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me my money. Ah. Ah. Stop what are you talking about? Listen, madam, just let me go. What's this? Hey! Now for Lagos, so. Now soon I did it to Don't Rich. Now you should slap my corrupt because I'm innocent. Mean, yeah. And you the carry different women at a time. And you still they let they go. How can could I have been here and how could she have slapped me? <laughs> Listen. If it's something you silly people have planned, yeah? And you want to ditch me. You say it, rather than cook up this, this garbage. I beg my money for not speak English. I'm not there for that English. I'm not there. I'm not there. I beg. You know what? I beg. Ah! You bastard. Fuck you. You bastard. A bitch. I want you to have. Yeah. Wait. Wait. I beg. Give me my paper, Joe. Madam. Pay me my money. Let me go. Where did I go? Pay me my money, I beg. What money? Don't you know the, the, the person that bought food from you? Go let, let me go. See, eh, if you don't pay me my money, eh, you go kill me. Oh. You go kill me. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Pay me my money. It's but now they beat me since that night. It's okay. Just let me go. Okay? Make I let you go. Let me go. Give me my pepper. Excuse me. But now they slap me since that night. How much? You don't know what you chop. How much? Ask me again. Just hold it. Wait, oh. If you don't be emo, you sure they don't be twins? I beg you, take a for Baba. I don't claim my money sharp sharp. What bitch?
Dave, how did you look at here? Your employment phone. Oh, okay. I oh. wasn't expecting a visitor. <laughs> no, that's my brother. Ah, my mistake. Um, Dave Samuel. Nice meeting you. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. My brother is not happy because I left without dropping a message. <laughs> I see. You should have taken it easy with her. After all, she's only a woman. You could have fractured her. Hmm? Anyway, my sincerest apologies for Hannah telling you she's coming to visit me. Yeah, listen, I was kind of worried, okay? She should have told me she wasn't coming back at night. I mean, I, I involved the police. Oh. I, I, I drank myself to stupor waiting for her. Hmm. Um. Harry, right? Harry, um. Yeah, Harry. I will send you a gift to make up for all the inconveniences I've caused you. Hmm? Come on, please accept it. Okay, no problem, but the thing is, you better take care of my sister because she's the only one I have. I will, I, I have. promise. I'm Selena. You look rough right now. Um, go get dressed. I've been in the car waiting for you. I need you to take you somewhere. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, Harry, have a nice day. You too. Enjoy your day. <laughs> oh my god. Look at how a proud fool is shivering at the man mentioned of a gift. Oh God, poverty is really a disease. You better cook something before I get back. Are you crazy? Are you stupid? <laughs> that gift better be something, baby. Better be something useful. A prophet told me that you were, yeah, you be able to do this to me. I wouldn't even believe it. Daddy, did I really deserve all this? For six months, I have catered for you. I know that you did not ask me to do that, but I'm doing it because I love you. I'm doing it because I feel the sense of responsibility to do it. You didn't ask me to do anything for you. I'm doing it because of the love that I feel in my heart. The, most of, the love that was gave me joy. But now you have taken away every single thing that makes me happy. Did I really deserve all this? Are you done? Is that all you can say? Am I done? Yeah. Last time you asked me if I had a twin brother, yeah? Yes, I did. Well, I don't know. Don't really know. I wish I can say. I don't know. Your Majesty, you're welcome. Any good news for the poor housekeeper? Don't be stupid, Harry. You just had a little misunderstanding. Do you really think you can keep two lovers at a time? Harry, please, don't go there again. 
I've had too much of a trouble for today. Please. All right, let's just say you talk with Dave and he helps me out. Are you going to leave him for me? Harry, why don't you think of your success first? And then you can pick up another Selena out there. By then you'll be comfortable enough without me. Don't you understand? I get it. This guy has eaten into your heart. What? <laughs> I know. I share your dilemma. You know, maybe I'll just go for the money. And when I'm rich, you pray I still retain my love for you. Better. A good. Please, Harry. This relationship, we're two different people. And it should be flexible and based on our individual desire to help each other. And that is what I am doing for you. Can't you understand? You know, I guess you're right. I'm sorry, I really blew it this time. I overreacted, right? I'm sorry, babe. Okay. You know I love you. Please forgive me, okay? Rather spend just one moment with you than to spend a thousand elsewhere. Oh no, you are the one for me, so I keep myself to you. You're all I ever want. Hey, you give me everything I need, and your love is so undeniable. Danny, what? <laughs> this is you looking so ridiculous. What is this? Is this the surprise? Oh. That is my car. God, Danny, you look ridiculous. What? What's this? I parked my car right here. Is this? Is this your definition of a, of a celebration? Right, my car. But I should have known. You are drunk. Danny, look, you just reek of alcohol. What is wrong with you? I parked my car right here. Okay, you know what? This is reality. You don't own a car. You can't own a car. Let me just take you home, okay? Get into my car. I can't drive. God, what is... Look, Danny, you just keep embarrassing me. I can't drive. You know what? Fine. We both cannot drive. You can't drive. I can't drive because you don't have a car. But I can get you another car, okay? Let's go. Let's just go. Where are we going? Home. I'm not going home. No home. I'm sleeping right there. Yeah. At the hotel, yeah. How? You know what? Just get what you want today, okay? I have the <laughs> money. Just. Okay, fine. Just. I, I'm called Dave. All right, so sure. No problem. No problem. You drank so much, you can't even remember your name again. I can roll my own you, 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 you can walk. think you own a car. Next thing you say, you own the hotel, right? I have money to buy Daddy, this hotel. You don't know how to drink, so Ten stop time, drinking. Ten times I told over. you this before. I can't believe you just wanted me to come and meet you drunk. Like this is the surprise you had for me. Baby, where's the... You know, I don't even know what to say, just come.
take it easy. Your job. What's that? I'm not picking your call. You cut my phone. Uh, I can't even believe you. Uh, what? You've linked God on my call. Switch on the phone. Don't no calls. Blessed Jesus. Switched off. on his way back. <sighs> it's over an hour now. Dave, Dave, where are you? No, Danny, if I'm not allowed to answer my call, you have no right to answer your call, so you set the rules, okay? So you live by it. <laughs> Yes. 
Stop! No, you're not picking uh, up your stuff. No! Okay, I'm just switching uh, off. No! It's going off, it's going off. Okay. okay. So surprisingly, you actually turn me on. They've shown my call. What is happening to him? And it's late already. Oh God. He will have at least picked my call or even call me. Or has he lost his phone in his usual drunkenness? Or is he in any trouble? Or maybe he's sleeping with another woman. Oh God. Where is Dave? Come here. Come here. I like have seen your face like one, two, three. Ah, oh, you're feisty. Ah, but this is the weirdest state I've ever seen you in. Ah, you know? Yes. Yeah, so you weird. one, two, three, four, five. I just going out, you know, you spin like that. Ah, okay, this is fine. Come on. Don't, don't take off! Don't take ah! Don't, no. I'm just gonna take off my clothes, okay? Fine! I'm waiting. One. You're not a girl. Hi, Selena. You didn't tell me you weren't coming back soon. I finished his dinner on time, but he's not home up to now. And he's never picking my calls. You must be stupid to tell me that. What am I supposed to do? Pity you? <laughs> Listen, you should have known he's a chronic womanizer and a bottle heater. You didn't expect to captain two ships at once, right? Did you? Anyway, it's none of my concern. Just make sure that you get him to help me like you said you would. I just want to end all this and have you all to myself. All right, bye. Dave, you such a fool. I'm stuck here to get back. You go meet you come meet me here. But I love you, Dave. I love you so so much. But how is the threat to my life? You won't just let me be. Oh God, what a threat to a lifetime opportunity. Oh God, what am I going to do now?
Dave, what kind of a joke was that? I'm sorry, baby. It was the drinks. And you slept in the gutter? No, I slept at a hotel room. You had the guts to cut my line and switch off your phone? Oh my god. Baby, I left my phone and my pants. I hung in the wardrobe. Truly, I'm so sorry. Dave, I hope you're not sleeping with prostitutes. And you better show this your drinking habits because I don't like it. How well? What is all this? Now my brother is not happy that I slept over. Oh god. You know what? Just get out. Who is that girl I slept with yesterday night? Never even. I could not even remember picking up any book. Just for you. I can climb the highest mountain. Just for you. Yeah. Cry a sea of tears. Yeah. Just for you. So lay all my love on you. Yeah. Just for you. Oh, oh my. Lay all. Just for you. Yeah. Just one moment with you Then to spend a thousand elsewhere Danny Oh no You are the one for me So I give myself to you You're all I ever want Hey, you give me everything I need And your love is so undeniable my best friend, my lover, you are my everything. I can climb the highest mountain just for you. Oh, cry the sea of tears. Yeah. Just for you. Danny, you sure do know how to toy with people's emotions. How do you mean? Oh, please. You know, at some point, you would have to tell me exactly what you've been up to. What was that expensive joke for? Evelyn, you amaze me. You not only amaze me, you're a disgusting liar. A disgusting liar. I prepared a candlelight dinner for us to celebrate a selection at the TV show. I waited for my angel to come home, and you're here accusing me of what? I called you, you never picked your call and you switched off the phone on me. Check it. Check it. Danny, do you mean to tell me that you haven't left this house since yesterday? I mean, you didn't venture go out to vent your anger on some bottles of alcohol. You, you didn't do that. Do I look like one of those careless fools? Do I? You can explain what? That you went out with your boyfriend, your boss, or who knows who? Danny, look, I stumbled upon an old school friend of mine. I went to her house very early because I knew I was going to come back and celebrate with you early too. But suddenly her child just fell ill and, and the house was in chaos. We had to rush her to the hospital. I was the only friend that was around. She had to make calls, she had to run around, she had to know what was happening to her daughter. And I was supposed to be there for her. Look, I'm sorry. Excuse me, but the child's illness just took away every drop of composure in me. Tell me you were not a date with someone. Tell me that you were not on a date with someone. Tell me. Danny, you know I'll never do. I'll never do that to you. I'm not. I should have called you. I was wrong. And I'm sorry. You know, I think I have to go, Evelyn. 
We'll talk about this later. Send the goods. Okay, I'll call you back. Hi, right, bye. There is a weekly stock taken. Any discrepancies? They both attached to it. I like that. You really know how to be very formal. Sir, responsibility and ethics are not supposed to be related to duty and desire. You can go home and prepare something delicious rather than stand here and act like the president in the middle of a national crisis. Yes, boss. Selena. I'm sorry about yesterday. Please. It's an office. I know. Selena, I love you. I truly do. I really love you. Is that all I can get? Come on, please. Why should an ordinary employment deny me of my love? And the worst part of the whole thing is you're standing there in front of me. You're not even ashamed. Crying over your boss's womanizing. I thought you, you were working for us. Working for money. But instead, what I see is, is, is a girl crying over her newfound love's womanizing. Um, I mean, I am sorry. Sorry? Sorry about what? What? You're in love with your boss? Listen, I've been keeping quiet. I've been keeping quiet because, because I mean, you know. But no longer. Because I'm pissed off. I'm getting really, really pissed off. Now you know what you got to do. And you better do it now. Fast. Do you understand me? Harry, I said I'm sorry. I know what I'm doing. I'm not in love with Dave. No. You do? Well, then you better do it. And do it fast. <laughs> Baby. Baby. You know that I love you. And no man can come between us. You know that. You do, huh? You do what you do it to me, I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like that, huh? Mm -hmm.
Gawai Kong. Can I get a drink? Yes, sir. Oh, wow, you're not even going to make a call yourself. Are you talking to me? Sorry if I don't make you this. You just did change like a million. How do you mean? If you make me sing as I did see you so. Not you give me your number last time. So make I call you if I see your second way resemble you. Now you can't come now, come to do face like I did chase you. Ha! Madam. I came here the other day and you insulted me. You forced me to pay for something I never bought. And now you're calling me a chameleon? Come on. If this is no grown mad for you, you don't go stop. I, I apologize to you. I beg you say you don't pay me my money. Yet you give me another money. I don't even apologize. You know if you forgive. You. Now why? You apologize to me. Uh -huh. Maybe it's a look-alike or a twin brother or a ghost. I apologize to Excuse me. Sure, Oga. Okay. Even I said you did correct. I did come. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. I did come. No go. Just wait. I did come, eh? You give me your phone number the last time when you come here. You tell me, say, if I see that your second real example, you make a call you. Wait, wait, you mean somebody gave you his phone number and that person looks like me? Where's the number? Now, there's the problem, punch you, kid. I don't misplace the paper where you write the number. Please. How can you be so careless? How? Uh, huh? I, I sorry, Sha. But if you had your own I or ego, you say call you if you come here again now. Give me a pen and a paper. Now, when he comes, give him this number. Make sure you call me. Alright, I'm writing it twice. Make sure you do that. Okay. What's my bill? Um, your money now is two hundred and fifty naira. Keep the change. Thank you, sir.
It looks ill. Your eyes are dull. You need to see a doctor. Danny, I'll be fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. The contest is just two weeks away. It's not safe for a contestant to gamble with his or her health. Evelyn. Yes. The contest means everything to me. We're putting a lot into the preparation. Okay. Let's go to my doctor then. Okay. Alright. Need anything? No, no, not now. Let me rest a little. You okay? <sighs> yeah. Anything you want? I'm gonna have water, please. I'll get it, guys. Please, please. We're two months now. Two months. We're busy fasting and praying. Why that was happening, we're busy hopping from one bed to another. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> How come you're six weeks pregnant when we haven't made love for two months? You had better take that pregnancy to whoever is responsible. I, I, I regret the damage. You just go. You know, I, I wish you never helped me. Of what use is your help if you can if you can cheat cheat on me, ruin my love? Come on, I'm putting my quest in danger. What? Hmm? Danny, please just stay, okay? At least until after the quest. Maybe we can salvage this place. Salvage what? You ruined the quest the day you became unfaithful to God and me by sleeping with a man during a fasting and praying. As for a quest, if the managers don't take my solo performance, it's a nice kiss by to a wasted opportunity and a shameless hell. Please, leave me, let me go. Fabian, Fabian, that prostitute has ruined an opportunity of a life. I cannot even replace her. All I have to do is change the duet performance to a solo performance and redo all the songs. Can you imagine? Ah. This is, this is so incredible. Who must have gotten into this girl anyway? I don't know. I mean, a big girl like Evelyn should know better than to get careless. <laughs> but, uh, can't she get rid of this pregnancy? What? I mean, you two have to find a way to settle this so this quest doesn't get ruined, you know? I know that. Remember, six million, six million naira. First prize, man, that's too much to lose. No. Could take you from poverty and make you for a lifetime, you know. You're right, you know. But I cannot stoop so low, man. And besides, I know Evelyn, she will not, you know, succumb to an abortion. Neither would I. Man. I came to Alice, stay with you for a while. Just for things to get cool. Come on, man. <laughs> You're always welcome. Thank you, man. I mean, we're together in showbiz, man. Yeah, come on, come on, man. You're welcome, man. Yeah, you know. Come on, but we have to find a way to settle this. We have to find. <laughs> Happen. You don't see that yes, it's just the cry. Auntie, tell me. I feel happy. Oh. 
just go away. Story for tomorrow. Yeah, I just want to put it Wow. So, what drink should I get? Um, Coke. Don't gas What is it? Your boyfriend don't carry another girl. Come. Where is he? that I, I hurt you very much but I'm really sorry believe me I, I didn't mean to do please just come home with me so I can explain what happened please you, you really need to know what happened I will spend everything I promise somebody step me from this lunatic Danny 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 who is this problematic Danny who is this look alike I wish I could meet this faceless guy and beat the hell out of him I actually came here to ask this, 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 this. Have you seen this guy lately? He never come here since that day. Wait. Um. This might be kind of embarrassing, but I, I'm really very sorry. Did you sleep with a certain woman? Say, two months ago, some night you were really drunk. You couldn't help yourself and, and she helped you. Did you sleep with anybody like that? Please, I just really need you to, to, to say the truth. Please, just answer our question. Look, woman. I'm a man of honor. No one should hear I slept with a prostitute. No one. Go and tell whoever sent you that I'm far from the rich. Look, Dave, if you don't want embarrassment, just say the truth. This lady here is a mature lady who knows what she's talking about. What is up with this? Answer her! This is becoming insulting. Insulting? Huh? Insulting? Look, young man, if you do not want me to give you some more public embarrassment, you had better give me your orders right now and answer my questions correctly, please, just honestly. I'm sorry. I am upset. Do you understand that? Do you, do you know what this me frustrated? Can we go Just better answer my question. Sorry. Can we go somewhere private and talk? Sticks, stones, tables, they do all have ears. months ago you slept with a woman in front of Alara Hotel that's where we met you look so much like my my fiance 
You were so stupid drunk, I could not even tell the difference between you and him. You gave me a lot of money, I was bothered about the money. You took me into a hotel and... Yes, we did it. By the right time I woke up in the morning, you left me money. Thinking I was a prostitute, I guess. What do you mean? I can't understand. No, no, don't interrupt her. Don't you! I was drunk. I could not have controlled my actions. So you did it? Yes. What if I did? Huh? I woke up near a lady I don't know. I thought she was a prostitute. I left some money and ran home to meet you. And guess what? I went home to meet my fiancé, knowing the fact that I just slept with a total stranger too. Who? Oh, my lookalike. There is not the issue. The issue there is you slept with a stranger. No. The big issue here is that I am also pregnant. What? And I have been dumped. Here's my card. Call me. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Finished. Jeez. Oh God. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Without pregnancy, my place here has expired. No man throws away pregnancy just like that. Oh God, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know Dave will make a plan for her to bear that baby. Selena, Selena, you have to act now. Or you regret letter. It's good to know that I've been dealing with a liar, an unrepentant womanizer, and a chronic drunk. You're such a heartless beast. 
You really belittled me, Dave. I am just your other sex toy. I couldn't wait for your stupid excuses that would amount to giving the devil the chance to perfect his deceit. I have taken whatever I can find as my compensation. Don't even try my number because I'm going to throw my SIM card as soon as I leave your house. You have been deleted from my heart. Goodbye, fool. my phone rather than delete it out of anger. That was the only link I had to, to the father of my baby. God, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do with this baby? I bought it. Oh no, 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 no. That would only just compound to my problems. God, I need you now. Help me. Danny, where are you? 
I just need you to come back home. At least to know the truth for yourself. That it was a mistake. You need me. You need me for the quest, Danny. I want to hear from you It's not that I want you Not to say but if you own you Hold on man I can never sound better without her Why did she betray me? Why? Huh? Why? Ah <sighs> You know what? You know what? Let's go see her. What? I can't do that. Listen. I've changed the duet performance to a solo performance. And although I left a little space for, you know, duet performance, uh, just in case anything happens. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You made an arrangement for that, right? You knew she was coming back. Come on, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Come on, man. Man, forget it, man. Man, I'm telling you this. I'm done with that. It's over. I don't want to see her no more. It's over, I'm telling you. Come on, let's go have a drink. Let's go have a drink, man. Come on. Let me look at them. I can climb the highest mountain just for you. Oh, cry the sea of tears yeah. just for you. Lay all my love on you just for you. Just for you. Just for you. I can climb the highest mountain just for you. Yeah. Cry the sea of tears yeah. just for you. Lay all my love on you, yeah. Just for your love. Oh, oh my, lay all. Just for your love. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'd rather spend just one moment with you than to spend a thousand elsewhere. Oh no. You are the one for me, so I give myself to you. You're all I ever want. Hey, Dave, you give what is wrong with you? Why are you still doing at this time? A workaholic? <laughs> are you Selena. on vacation or something? I lost Selena. I got drunk and mess around with another lady. Good. Very good. I've warned you countless times about this, your drinking habits. At least now that she has gone, it will enable you to concentrate more on your business. She has been a big form of distraction to you ever since. But she was, she was such a nice lady. And you approved of her. My opinion hasn't changed. Just that not at the expense of your business. You know what? If she's yours, she will definitely come back for you. Okay? You're right. Let me go in and change. When you come in? Um, I have some business deals to discuss with you. So, I'll wait in the car. Hurry. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll be back.
the show has been moving on so far so good. This time we're going to be calling on Danny for his second performance. I heard she sang a good song. I heard she had a style. And so I went to see her and listen for a while. Yeah. And then there was this young girl, stranger to my heart, showing my pain with his fingers, killing my life with his words. Oh, she was killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words Killing me softly with his song Congratulations, man! You made history. You know that. You made history. You made history. Come on, man! We did it together. Uh -huh. Yeah, we made history. You know we're in this together. Come on, man! Man, how did you get Evelyn to come over? You know me, man. I mean, I just couldn't let this thing slide. I knew you wouldn't be able to make it alone. So I had to find a way to make it happen. Let me make a toast. The youngest millionaire in town. No. To a successful album coming up. To a successful album, man. Danny, don't you think we should go see Evelyn? Why? Why? That girl still has something for you. And I think you need to hear her out. Taking station already. Don't call 
Anybody? Nigga, man. Nigga. Please, man. Man, that was a beautiful job, I'm telling you. I mean, that was fantastic, man. Shit. Thank you for your compliments. Yeah. L listen, I hope you didn't tamper with the money because, I mean, I, 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 I checked it. Okay, I counted every last bit of it. I know how much is in there, all right? You know what? I have been running errands for people like you. Mm. So when I saw the money, I felt it. It is time to move to the next level. What are you talking about? I mean, what do you mean by that? What I mean, I have been keeping the roots, the money. I could have screamed for long ago, but I don't want anybody's shadow chasing me about. I decided to enjoy my money on the start. Listen, Nick, come on, nigga, man, nigga, man, this is me, man. We don't do this, man. We can share the money 50 50. Come on. Come on, nigga, don't do it. No, Harry. I know you two way to restart. You are not even forgiving, not talk of forgetting. Nigga, don't do this shit, man. Nigga, don't do this shit. We can share this shit, man. Come on, nigga, don't do this. Yo! Come on. Am I doing business with you? That is the way cook from us. Just enter this car, that guy that looks like my brother. 